this video I'm gonna talk about how I knew my husband was the one so if you want to hear the nicest juiciest things that happened to me please stay tuned to the end of the video and I'm just gonna share with you just open up my heart and how I knew that my husband was the one hi everybody welcome to my channel my name is Sharon I'm gonna talk about how I knew husband was the one so before I even start I'd like to ask you to please subscribe to my channel so that we can grow this channel together and share with your friends and also leave me a comment below I want to know how you met your husband if you are married but if you're not married how you wish you could meet your husband that would be very nice if you could just type in below and let me know so I'll just go straight to the point so before I met my husband, I was going through a very, very hard time and I was broken. I was going through brokenness. I just finished with my ex, but then I knew deep down my heart that I didn't want to be to spend the rest of my life by myself. I wanted a family, I wanted you know, to be married, I wanted that whole idea of marriage. I really wanted it. And because I've looked in so many different places and ended up finding grown men and you know making different kind of decisions, but I've reached a stage in life where I say, you know what, God, I need you to help me. And that's literally the truth. I just, I was so broken. I didn't think that strength, I didn't think that energy, but I said, God, I need you to come through for me. I went through a, a time when I was just really spending time with God. I wanted to know the Holy Spirit, and I was having an intimate time with the Holy Spirit, and my prayer life was just really like very, very high. So I, uh, I remember one day I'd actually prayed and said a prayer to God, uh, you know, I need to, I want to see my heart. I want to see you. You know, I want to know that this is the guy. So, lo and behold, guys, I just started having these dreams. I know you might, you might think, what? Yes. I started having these dreams. I was dreaming about this guy that I didn't even know about. I didn't know about this guy. I started having dreams. In these dreams, I'd be like walking hand in hand with love. And, uh, you know, just... It was so, the dreams were so nice and so real. So the first time I had the dream, I was like, hmm, maybe because I'm going through this hard time, maybe that's the reason why I'm having, my mind is playing up with me. Then the next time, the dream came back again. Then the third time, the dream came back and I knew that mm -mm, God is definitely speaking to me. So I joined that because I just wanted to meet with people that are really positive minded or oh, that's all I wanted so I said oh you know what I love singing let me join the band so I joined the band so the first day, the first day that I'd go to, to the band meet to practice that was on a Saturday we used to have sacred time so in that sacred time as I'm sitting down here the door was over like straight that side I see this man walking in guys if it, if it was like the gems gems born invasion this <laughs> I walk in, coming in, and I'm like, I pinch myself, thinking, what, is this a guy that I've been dreaming about? This person, guys, that I've been, I was dreaming about, walked in the room. I, it was felt so surreal, like I pinched myself. I was like, is this true? So he walked in, he came and joined the band where we were sitting, you know, everybody introduced themselves and everything like that. And I couldn't believe my eyes. I couldn't believe that this guy that I've been dreaming about for months, he's here and I'm seeing him for the first time. I don't know the person. Meeting finished, everybody went and everything like that. And I went home and I was like, oh my God, wow, was that? You know, I was so excited. And then weeks passed, weeks passed. He never said a word to me, nothing. And I'm like, my goodness, why is this guy not saying anything to me? Why is the guy not saying anything? The guy never said nothing to me. We would kind of say hi and I'll say hi and I'll just pass it. You know, I'll pretend as if nothing is happening. You know that kind of way. <laughs> I, I, I was pretending as if inside I wasn't boiling. I was like, oh, why is this guy not really talking to me? But anyway, one of the days I went back, I was praying. I said, God, I need you to show me a sign. 
need a sign from you. I need to know whether my mind is not playing up with me. I need to know whether this guy truly is the guy, the man that you, that is right, that is the one for me. I just wanted to know, because remember I came from a broken place. So I didn't want a situation whereby I should, you know, I just wanted to be very, very sure. So I prayed and I said, God, I need this man. If he's the one, I need, I need him to pray. Listen to this now, God. Listen, listen, listen. I asked God, I wanted God, I needed him to wear a white shirt. Yeah. I said, God, I need this man to wear a white shirt. I said, next Sunday when I come to church, even if he doesn't have a white shirt, you should go and buy a cheap white shirt or anything. Because at that time, actually, the reason why I prayed that prayer was because that time he was, every time I saw him on Sunday, he was wearing all these dark colors. He had these blacks, grays, and, you know, really dark colors. He says, okay, he keeps wearing all these dark colors. Let me, let me just ask God for him to wear a white shirt. Then I'll know, definitely, this guy, that's, you know, that's, it's, I'm not imagining things and things are not going, <laughs> I'm not going crazy. So the next Sunday, he came to church and I was busy praising God and singing and dancing, you know, our church, we dance and sing and all those kind of things. And, you know, I was just really enjoying myself and I heard a voice. I heard a tiny voice whisper to me. I heard this voice saying at the back, he's wearing a white shirt. So I thought in my mind, I thought maybe it was a person next to me trying to tell me something that I didn't hear correctly. So I looked to see who the person was, who, who the person, the person was busy worshiping, praising, they were busy dancing, you know, they didn't even look like they were talking to me. Then you know where you keep quiet and say, oh, what was that? What did I hear? Then it's like, you could, you can hear, it can, it's like replaying in your mind. Then I decided to look back. You know, because, you know, every time, I used to always like to sit in the front, and he used to always like to sit in the back, every time I knew. So, I looked back, guys, lo and behold, <laughs> the man was wearing a white shirt. <laughs> yes, he was wearing a white shirt. I stopped dancing, I stopped doing things, I pinched myself, I sat down. And I said, oh my God, so that's the guy, that's the one. But listen, I was still feeling unsure because I was so broken really badly. I was feeling unsure. So I had to go back again to God and say, let him ask for my number. Then I'll know that truly, because I'm not, I say, I'm not going to be the one who's going to make a first step. He has to make the first step because I don't want rejection anymore. I've had so much rejection. I don't want any more rejection. So, going to the beach and traveling and everything like that. Guys, and we, my pastor uh, booked a bus, a very big bus. So, we're going to the beach and, you know, there's some people getting baptized. So, I was coming in the bus and, you know, everywhere. It was everywhere. All the places were taken. And at the back, <laughs> Kiso was sitting there. <laughs> he himself, he was sitting there and there was space right next to him. And I was like, okay, let me sit down. Maybe this is a, an opportunity when he's gonna ask for my number because you know, and the whole way to the 45 minutes drive, we spoke and we, we talked as if we had known each other. And from that time, I knew I knew he was the one. Despite him saying anything to me, despite me seeing all this, I knew he was the one. So anyway, we went to the beach, we had a good time, we came back and everything like that. So as I was getting off the bus, I just saw somebody running after me, like pop, 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 running after me. Sharon, this person called my name. Can I please have your Facebook? Uh, uh, what's your face? What's your surname on Facebook? And that I tried to pretend, you know, playing hard to get, you know that. <laughs> Playing hard to get, I said, "Oh no, just go and look for Sharon. You're gonna, you find me." It's like, no, listen. Can you just give me your sign name because there's so many Sharons and I'm not going to know which one it is. And I was like, "Ah, okay." Then I gave him my son name, and guess what he said in my in my in the message, the first message that he sent to me, he was like, "Can I have your number?" And guys, I knew 
from that time I knew, I said, listen, I've asked God so many times of so many signs. If I don't believe this, then, then I don't know. It can't keep being a coincidence. I asked him for a wife, for, for him to wear a white shirt, he wore a white shirt. I asked him for him to ask me for the number, he asked me for the number. I asked God for me to see him, I'd seen him. There were so many signs, that's how I knew that he was my husband. So guys, if you like this story, please, I'd like you to share with me, right in the comment below. Tell, let me know how you feel about my story. This is my story, this is what happened to me. And I want to know, how did you meet your partners? How did you meet your husbands? Just type in and let me know. You know, it's very nice of me to get to know you guys. What, how did you meet? Where did you meet? What happened to you? Everybody's story is different. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you're new to my channel, please, I'd like you to subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna be giving you more and more stories of different testimonies that God has done in my life. So I want you guys to just continue supporting me in making my channel grow. So take care and stay blessed and keep shining, guys. Let's keep shining.